Well, we're not playing at the moment, we're resting it, but The Stairs was always one of my favourite In Excess songs. It, it's, I think it was just lyrically, uh, Michael just hit, um, hit a, a chord with me um, in particular. I just love that song. I mean, I almost, almost cry every time you play it, no matter who sings it, and JD was singing it beautifully too. And it's a great song to play. It's really powerful. Andrew just wrote a great piece of music. I guess we're all unified, in, you know, and that's why JD fits in so well, because he's in, the, in the, exactly the same boat. We're all unified in the desire to play to the best of our abilities every night and deliver the best show we can to our fans, because they're the ones parting with their hard-earned bucks. Um, and it's really enjoyable. So that's, you know, we live for the show. And I guess we kind of, through experience, we stay out of each other's way for the rest of the day. I mean, we hang out, we, you know, we all love each other. We all, been friends since high school, for God's sake, and we're, we're a family, but um, we know when to stay out of each other's way and when to back each other up, and we also really know how to get ready to get on stage and, and, and not, you know, the last thing you want to do is let, let a, a band member down by, by playing like shit, so we don't. You know what? The fans give, don't need to give us anything back. The fans have been loyal. They've been they've stuck with us. Um, you know, we always owe the fans. I mean, we're as I said before, we're, we're a selfish band in many ways. We did the TV show for purely selfish reasons to find ourselves a new singer to join our family and make a record. So um, there wasn't a great deal of thought about the fans in that decision. But we knew it would work out if we did it properly, and we did it properly. And as it was, the fans really understood, and so the show was a hit. But um, the fans have really stuck with us through thick and thin, and, and you know, they don't have to give us anything back. They've already they've already given us more than we can repay. I miss the beach. That's the one thing I really do miss: is the beach, getting some sun, going for, going for a surf, going for a body surf, getting the board out. Um, yeah, obviously you miss family, you miss your kids, and stuff like that. But um, you know, that's that's called work. But I mean, I guess things that that really help you you know, prepare for the, your life for things that make, you know, like the beach or things that make you happy. So, um, so I guess it would be the beach with the kids. That would be the thing I miss the most at the moment. <music> Going back to sleep, probably. Um, I don't seem to get much sleep lately. But um, I guess, look, I, 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 like everybody else, I sit and if I, if I do get a chance to watch television, I watch what other people achieve. I love watching, you know, history channels of great accomplishments. I love watching golf. I love watching tennis. I love watching Australian Rugby League, the greatest sport in the world, and the state of origins on this week. Um, yeah, that's what I would aspire to, is to, is to, um, is to just to be successful or, or competent in another field of endeavour. I'm a bit partial to Coldplay because it's you can't sort of go wrong but I must admit when in the middle of it, it I don't like music it's the only time I don't li like listening to music is during lovemaking because it's distracting and it's um, I'd rather listen to what's going on rather than what's going on over there sort of thing I'd probably like to be as good a drummer as John Farris because I can play a bit of guitar, I can play a bit of keyboards, I can play a bit of everything, but I can't play drums. And I'd love to play drums. And he won't teach me. <laughs>